the praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer unto you the sacrifices of praise. Praise God, beautiful girls and handsome boys. How have you been? Happy New Year 2023. We are here in this new season, in this new year, and it's all because of the grace of God. If you're joining us this time of the day, we are happy that you're watching us from wherever you are. My name is Tita Annette, and I'm glad that you're here and you're watching us. Boys and girls, as we begin our today's lesson, I want us to gather ourselves around and hold the hand of the person next to you, if you're standing next to your parent, your guardian, your cousin, your friend, hold their hands because we want to say a prayer and after that we will dive right into our lesson. So let us pray. When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, I bow my head and then I pray. Father Lord, we come before you this day. We thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you, dear Lord, that you have seen it fit for us to see this new year 2023. Lord, we have had a long year of 2022 and it has ended the 12 months of the year, the 300 plus days of God. And Father, we can testify and say that indeed you have been faithful. You have held our hands, oh God. You have been with us through every time of our lives. And Lord, this time of the day, I want to pray for these children. I pray for their parents. I pray for their guardians, oh Lord. I pray to every boy and girl listening to my voice out there today that Father, may you continue to give us hope May you continue to lead us in your ways. May you continue to hold us with your right treasure's hand. As we step into this new year, Lord, we pray that, Father, may we bring to you a sacrifice of praise, that may we bring to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving in our hearts, that may we bring to you, O oh Lord, a sacrifice of ourselves unto you. Lord Jesus, may you help us to know you, help us to love you, and help us to obey you. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. Everybody say a big amen and tell the people around you, Happy New Year. I'm happy to be in this new year, the first Sunday of the month of January. Isn't God good? Yes, he's a good God. So boys and girls, in the previous lesson that we have had, in the month of December, it's been a Christmas season, a time to remember the birth of uh, Jesus Christ, who is our Savior and who is our friend. And so this Sunday, as we begin the new year, we still continue to wind up on the lessons of Christmas. Because remember, boys and girls, Christmas was just last Sunday. And so today, we continue to talk about Christmas. Have you celebrated well? Those who went for your holiday vacations, have you enjoyed? And I'm sure some of you are still on vacation and we still give God thanks and we praise him. When we were singing our song, we were saying that we bring a sacrifice of praise unto the Lord. We bring a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Why are we thanking God? Why are we praising God? Boys and girls, we have a million or even a trillion reasons to thank God. Personally, I thank God because I am healthy, I am strong, I can talk, I can uh, say of uh, God's love, and above all, I am thankful that Jesus is my friend. 
And so, today's uh, lesson, boys and girls, if you have your Bibles, if you don't have them, mommy and daddy will read for you, or even your garden. We read from the book of Matthew. Can you say Matthew? Yes, Matthew chapter 2, from verse 1 all the way to verse 12. Matthew chapter 2, from verse 1 all the way to verse 12. And in this story, Matthew is in the New Testament, the first book in the New Testament, okay? And in this story, boys and girls, we find baby Jesus. He's been born already to his parents. Who are the parents? There was Joseph, who was the daddy. And there was Mary, who was the mommy. And baby Jesus was there laying in a manger, very, very, very calm. And the shepherds came to witness his birth. And the, the, the angels talked of his birth. And the stars guided the shepherds when they were coming to worship baby Jesus. Boys and girls, have you ever gone to visit a newborn baby? Hmm. If you have, then I'm sure you saw the baby was tiny. Sometimes the baby is sleeping. Sometimes the baby is crying or even yawning. And sometimes the baby could be maybe smiling, right? Yes, because a newborn baby, they don't know how to talk. But they know how to, they can yawn, they can stretch their little hands. They're just cute. So baby Jesus was there lying in a manger covered with warm clothes and he was just cute. But now when Jesus was born, there were people called the Magi. Can you say Magi? Yes. Or you can call them the wise men. Can you say the wise men? So these wise men, they used to read, they used to look at the stars with their telescopes like this, and they could say, hmm, that star, I think it means something. So one of these days when they were looking at the stars and they were studying the stars at night, they saw one specific one in their telescope like this. And they said, hmm, this star means there is a mighty person, a mighty king who has been born. So we need to go and find out where this baby has been born. So boys and girls, the wise men started on a journey. They were coming far away from the east. So they started on a journey to come all the way to Bethlehem. Where was Jesus born? Yes, Bethlehem, the city of David. So they came, they came, and when they were coming, they were led by a star. And they went up to King Herod. At that time, there was a king called Herod. Can you say King Herod? Yes, you can see King Herod on the picture there. Good. So, King Herod welcomed the visitors, the wise men. And when they came there, they said, Hmm, we have seen through the star that a mighty king has been born in this city. And so we have come to see him so that we can worship him. And Herod was like, What? I am the only king here. How comes another king has been born? Hmm, this king, I need to see where he is. But, boys and girls, remember, he was pretending. He didn't want the wise men to see him making a face. But in his heart, he was like, what has happened? There is no king that can be born. I'm the only king. So in his heart, he was not happy. Because the wise men had told him that a king has been born. And so he pretended, <laughs> you know what, my friends, you go find out where this king has been born. And when you have found out, please tell me, I also want to go and worship him. Boys and girls, do you think Herod was saying the truth? No, he was pretending. In his heart, he was feeling jealous. He was like, no way, there is no king. I am the only king. But remember, Jesus was the king that was born. And so the Magi left, or the wise men, they left King Herod's palace, and they went and they were led until where baby Jesus was. And when they reached there, they found baby Jesus there with his parents, Mary and Joseph. And they were satisfied in their hearts. They were like, for sure, for real, this is the king who has been born. And the boys and girls, as I was asking, when you go to visit a newborn baby, when a family has gotten a baby, a mommy, a daddy, they have had a baby, 
it's it's either a baby boy or a baby boy or a baby girl or a baby boy and when you go to see a newborn baby you either take for them a card to tell the parents congratulations for bringing a baby or you buy a baby something maybe a some clothing a gift so like it's been christmas time and people have been receiving gifts and i've also gotten a gift and i'm also going to give a, um, i also gave out gifts so these people they brought a gift and you can wrap your gift nicely so that people cannot know what it is exactly so you take the gift to the newborn baby so these wise men also knew that for you to go to see a newborn baby you have to take for them for that baby a gift and so they also carried some types of gifts with them. Do you remember any type of gift that they brought? Hmm, let's think. Yeah, they carried gold. Can you say gold? They had a gift of gold. They also carried another gift called frankincense. Can you say frankincense? That was another gift. And another one was called mar. They also carried that gift. So how many gifts did they have? Three. So they brought the gifts, they laid the gifts before the baby, and they bowed down to worship him. And why were they worshiping him? Because Jesus Christ was born as our king, and above all, he was specifically coming to save us from our sins, so that we can be friends with God. So they knew that. And so they bowed down and they worshiped him. So boys and girls, that is the end of my story. But I have a question for you. Hmm. Where were these wise men coming from? Ta -da -ta -da. West? No. If you say it from the east, then you're correct. Let's clap for you. Good job. Then, how did King Herod react when he knew that baby Jesus was born? Was he happy and celebrating and saying, Yay, Jesus has been born? Was he saying that? No, he was so jealous. He got so angry. And he was like, no, 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 no. There can't be another king apart from me. So that is our story for today. And what do we learn from this story, uh, boys and girls, is that Jesus was given unto us as a gift. By who? By God. Remember John 3.16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So for you and I to enjoy life in God's kingdom, we have to accept this gift. When If Titanet comes with a gift like this and I stretch my hand to you, what am I telling you to do? Yes, to accept the gift. And how do you accept the gift? By taking that gift. If you take the gift, you have accepted it. If you don't take the gift, then I'll know that you don't want the gift. So how do we accept this gift of Jesus Christ? By allowing Jesus to be in our hearts, by telling God that God, please forgive us our sins. We are sinners. We have been doing bad things. But we allow Jesus Christ in our hearts to help us to walk in the ways of God. And by doing that, we have accepted the gift of who? Jesus Christ. So this time, when next time when you go to visit a baby or a friend's birthday, bring for them a gift. Take for them a gift and remind them that Jesus is the best gift ever. Jesus is the best gift Ever. So let's do our memory verse as we wind up. Can you say Matthew? Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. Let's say Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. It says, On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. May we worship Jesus. May we accept him in our heart as our friend every time. And even as we begin this year 2023, may Jesus be your friend. Bye-bye and Happy New Year.